de las competencias del Ejecutivo Nacional. Como el presidente encargado de Venezuela. In central Mexico, where the death toll from last night's pipeline explosion has risen to more than 60. That's according to an update from state officials just last hour. After weeks of fighting in what has become a virtual stalemate, we got word this morning from the Syrian Democratic Forces, we can confirm they have entered that last ISIS camp, but they caution that fighting is still going on, and certainly as of last night, the battle was raging. Um, we've had some news in the last half an hour or so um, that at least 80 people are reported to have been injured in several explosions in Sri Lanka. There were blasts at two churches in the capital, Colombo and Nagombo, as well as reports of explosions in several five-star hotels. The U.S. Navy says it is assisting after an apparent attack on two tankers in the Middle East. A U.S. defense official tells CBS News Iran is likely behind the attack. Pictures released by Iranian state media show smoke billowing from the ships. I knew he got shot on the right arm, so I went there and hold him and tell him he was asking for some water. I said to him, I was calm down, the police is here now and stuff, I was just because and then the gunman comes through the window again and shot him when I was holding him on the head and he was dead. The collapse of a dam at an iron ore mine in southern Brazil a week ago has left at least 115 people dead and around 250 missing. The cause of what could be Brazil's deadliest mine disaster was likely to have been parts of the sand and dried mud structure dissolving into liquid. The Taliban gunmen drove right into the military compound. Disguised in Afghan army uniforms, they were able to pass through the checkpoint before launching an attack from within. But Afghan forces are fighting not only an emboldened enemy, but also, according to many, corruption and poor leadership. And with fewer NATO troops to support them, they seem increasingly vulnerable. It's the moment millions of Algerians have been demanding. In a rare public appearance, a frail-looking Abdelaziz Bouteflika handed over his resignation letter to the head of the Constitutional Council. Pakistan says it has shot down two Indian aircraft, which it claims were over Pakistani airspace. The Pakistani military also says its warplanes carried out airstrikes inside India. India says the Pakistani jets were forced to retreat by its own aircraft, 